Yo, what's up guys, this is Flex on the track and today I'm gonna show you how I mix my drums for placements. This is some mixing sauce I'm giving away for you guys, so let's get straight into it. I already made this beat and it's a sample from Swifty, shout out to Swifty. And um, this is what the beat sounds like. I just have like, um, I'm gonna put a soft clipper on this. Don't put the fruit limiter on here. This is what it sounds like right now. So first of all, I start off with putting like my master bus sauce on here and this is just like a fruity parametric EQ, the normal one. Parametric EQ to clean up the lows and a little bit of the harsh highs and just the default the fruity soft clipper. Then I route everything to my mixer track and you do that by left clicking on a rectangle, doesn't matter each one of these. Then go to your mixer, right click, channel routing, route select the channel starting from this track and now you route everything to a single mixer track. So I just put all my presets on the mixer track and I'm gonna explain what, why I put these on here. So let's start off with the kick. Kick has just an EQ, which cuts off the lows a little bit of the highs and a soft clipper on here, that's important. For the 808, I have some on it, but I turned it off just for the sake of this video. I don't wanna explain you got. I'm gonna give away the FLP with the, with the notebook on here so you can read everything. For the hi-hats, I did a parametric EQ a reverb and fruity fast distortion and the same for the second hi-hat for the clap i just did an eq and bump up a little bit of the mid lows uh highs put some reverb on there and i turn i play with the knob then i'm gonna route this layered snare with the clap and you do that by right clicking route to this track only and now this mixer track is only gonna play on this one and this one is routed to the master track as you can see it's like with these arrows so now this sound will go first into this and then into that. For the snare, I just put a parametric EQ on it and a soft clipper for some reason. An open hi-hat, I just have like cut off the lows and little, like I boosted up the highs and I didn't put anything on the rest. Then for the melody, I'm gonna put my souls on here right now. It has reverb, delay, a fruity love filter for certain parts, a stereo shaper, gross beat, for if you want to do like a momentary halftime thing, like this thing. And just a regular EQ with cuts of lows and dips a little bit of the harsh frequencies, but I'm gonna play with this later. Then I got this bass from the sample, but I made it unique and you do that by clicking on it. Then make unique a sample. And then I route it to this track. And now I'm gonna just put it in mono because I know it's the bass. Now I'm gonna mute myself and I'm gonna try and uh, level everything. So I'll be right back. So as you can hear, it already sounds really clean just because of these presets. I'm gonna give away the FLP to you guys, don't worry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys all my sauce. I just like have some, some levels in my head I wanna have it. So for example, the 808. I wanna, I wanna make it hit like right above zero. For the heads, I usually do around nine to 12. Same for the other heads. Like these are like counted heads as you can hear. Wait. It's really low because it's like a subtle thing in the second part of the chorus. The clap I usually do around minus six. With this layered snare, it's like really low. As you can see, it's like running like 21. 21? For the counter snare, I usually do it around minus 12 to minus nine. Depends on what you like. And for the open hi-hat, I usually do it around minus 15, minus 12. The rest I do by ear for the perks. There are rules to mixing, but you can do whatever you want. 
this is like the main part of my mixing process i hope you guys liked it and this is like the final beat compared to the first one One thing I forget to mention is like I boosted my 808 and that's how you get like the crunchy sound. Just play with the R knob and the boost knob. I probably told it in like my last videos. So this is like the final sauce. So this was it. It was a really short video. There is nothing too much about mixing. I just told you everything I know. I do have some other things I can do if you want me to like explain arrangement of a beat or all that things. You can sign up for the Patreon. I'm gonna be on there like with all the other ones from Drum Knockers and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video peace